Good evening. I want to thank um, Dr. Soyan and uh, Professor Ikawa for, for giving me the opportunity to give this talk and for organizing this uh, very important uh, webinar. Um, I'm talking about uh, robotic donor hepatectomy, um, the left lobe um, graphs, uh, the left and the left lateral segment graphs. This is a video, kind of a video lecture. The first um, um, video is a left-sided graft. Um, you can see the falciform ligament is excised. Um, and now if, uh, we're just dividing the left triangle ligament um, and the left left lateral segment is um, completely mobilized. You can see the um, uh, a cholecystectomy is uh, being performed at the moment. Um, cystic duct uh, is being divided and um, cystic artery uh, is uh, being divided and the cholecystectomy is being completed um, this is a hilum I'm excising the um, uh, little bit of um, the lesser omentum and um, reaching to the back of the left lateral segment to the plane between the left lateral segment and the um, chordate, you might find um, some portal branches to the chordate here, or even some arterial branches um, from the left hepatic artery to the chordate here. Um, I'm just isolating uh, one of the portal branches, uh, separating it. I'm not dividing it now, do it later. Uh, back at the hilum, the left hepatic artery, just the peritoneum in front of the left hepatic artery is being cleared. I just excise um, tissues so they're not just hanging around there. And that's the left hepatic artery, which is um, skeletonized. We'll pass a sling in a minute. And there's some tissue in front of um, the left portal vein, just isolating the left portal vein. Um, you might find that um, there are some chordate vessels on the left-hand side. Um, again, clearing some lymphatics around the left hepatic artery and there is a sling around the artery and lymphatic tissue again around the portal vein which are being divided and skeletonized and that's the left duct that you can see just clearing the tissue so you can go around the left duct later on we won't um, dissect the left duct any longer um, and this is the left portal vein. And a sling around the left portal vein. And separating the left portal vein from the duct. Uh, you see there is a chordate duct in the back as well. Um, this is what we isolated earlier on and um, just dividing it with a vessel sealer. Putting some bulldog, a hard bulldog on the um, portal vein and a slightly softer bulldog on the artery. And you can very clearly see the demarcation here. The transection uh, um, plane is being marked now. And the bulldogs are taken out. Uh, in this, uh, the bedside surgeon is going to do the um, parenchymal transaction using accuser. Um, this is our preferred uh, method, even though we have used um, um, harmonic um, in some cases, uh, the, the robotic harmonic. And this requires um, an experienced um, bedside surgeon. And um, I mean, we have surgeons um, who do a good job of it. Um, Rajesh um, is uh, one of our surgeons who does um, most of this work. That's a segment five branch draining into the middle hepatic vein. There are two, two of them, so we've taken it separately. For left lobe, left lateral segment, um, we don't actually use a Pringle, whereas um, for a right lobe, sometimes we use a Pringle. It's very convenient to use a Pringle. That's a left duct. You can see ICG showing the left duct very clearly. I'm going to divide it, just cut it really, and suture if there is any large uh, vessel. If not, if it is away, then we can also burn, bust them.
can see a small branch, chordate branch from the left portal vein. Things can be very nicely ligated um, with the robot. Getting into the plane between um, the chordate and uh, segment four to complete the parenchymal transaction. This is um, segment eight vein, which is being isolated and divided. There was another small segment eight above as well, which was divided. And um, the last bits of uh, transaction, the plane in front of the chordate, until you see the um, left and middle vein together. Put a bag first and put the gallbladder and the falciform inside it. Uh, we give heparin, about 3,000 units of heparin, and then five minutes later, divide the artery. Um, the warm ischemic time we used to calculate from the time of division of the artery, but now we feel that the warm ischemic time really is from the time the portal vein is divided. Um, this is a stapler from outside, bedside surgeons do. You can also use a robotic stapler. We didn't use it because of uh, the costs involved, really. It's much uh, cheaper to use this one, and um, if the bedside surgeon is experienced, uh, there shouldn't be any danger. One has to be very careful that uh, they're not pulling the vessel and tearing the left vein or near the, the junction with the cable. Uh, the next uh, video is a, a left lateral segment um, video, very similar dissection like you saw before. Um, the left triangular vein the ligament is divided, and um, the here, we don't need to um, occlude the inflow for the marking. It's just to the right of the falciform ligament. Um, this is under the left lateral segment where we've cleared it. And then now the hyla dissection, isolating the left um, hepatic artery first. It's a very similar in a way to the pre previous video. The looks are slightly, the video pictures are slightly different. The other one was a more new camera where we were making some adjustments. I think I, I like this appearance. This was a slightly older camera. The, the previous video was the more recent um, camera that came as a replacement to the first one. So the lymphatics around the left hepatic artery are divided and there's a sling around the left hepatic artery. Now it's the left portal vein. You can see, you can isolate it and see the chordate branch there, which can be ligated and divided. And a sling around the left. This is a more straightforward. Uh, this time we are going to use um, the harmonic, which is um, which is which comes with the. Um, XI system. Um, they're not wristed though, they're very rigid. I don't like it. And I also don't really like the transaction using the harmonic. Um, we've done, but uh, my my preferred way is really the bedside surgeon using the QSA. It's the, the transaction is very gooey actually. You have to sick, keep sucking in between. There you see the left duct being divided. If you want a more accurate division without bleeding, you could also actually do a Pringle at the time of uh, duct division. That causes less bleeding and you can deal with it. So the last bits of the transaction. I mean, this is done purely robotically, no bedside surgeon doing anything. Towards the end, um, use the scissors to clear the left um, hepatic vein rather than using the harmonic The left hepatic vein is isolated. The bag. I think the average warm ischemic time for us now, with everything prepared, is around six minutes. Um, in the early days, um, in the earlier, maybe it was up to 10, 12 minutes, but um, now it's um, only six minutes. Um, as I said, we calculated from the time the um, portal vein is divided and the liver removed, and then the perfusion started, starting of the cold perfusion. 
And this, this is a robotic stapler. This is a three-row stapler. That's another disadvantage of the robotic. I believe that they are coming up with a two-row stapler. You're losing a maybe one or two millimeters to the length of the vein in the robotic. Um, and, and most complex work can be done um, with the robot, actually. I believe that um, it can be even better than open surgery because of uh, the visualization. This is um, the um, accessory left hepatic artery from left gastric. Uh, in fact, you can see every one of the branches. You divide them or clip them if they are small. Um, a very detailed dissection can be done. I mean, this will take an additional 15 minutes, I guess. Um, but I think that this can be done even better than open surgery. In open surgery, you land up with a lot of tissues around. You take the artery and the um, vein together and then in the bench you clear all of that. Um, whereas in robotic you can actually um, do most of the dissection uh, in situ so the artery is absolutely clean. They're all branches to the stomach and now you see the vein, how easily you can separate the vein from the artery and push it away. There's just one more large left uh, branch to the stomach there. And once that's taken, the left hepatic artery is free. So we, we started uh, the robotic work um, during the first COVID. I think we got the machine in the middle of um, 2020 and um, around September, October is when we started um, doing the first cases. Um, in fact, I started, wanted to start with the left lateral segment only. Um, for the first 25 cases we did were all um, left, left lateral segments. So the, the way we wanted to um, do it was um, um, in the beginning, I set a time uh, for the first five cases, um, um, I set a time of uh, two hours only operating. Um, and then in, I think in the fifth case, uh, I did three hours of operating and then I converted it. So in the one and a half years, um, we have done 190, 109 donor hepatectomies. Um, most of them have been um, left lateral sections uh, we have done 11 left lobes and uh, 26 right lobe grafts. In the early early phases, we were very selective. I think now we can do 80% of the right lobe grafts. Uh, this is uh, the port position. You can see for the right lobe, uh, we have uh, two assistant ports. Uh, the A2 is um, uh, in a higher position for uh, the QSA because sometimes the QSA doesn't reach. And um, it's been pretty good. I mean, when you look at major complications, we have had two re-exploration. One was a fan and steel hematoma which required evacuation and the other one was a hematoma on the cut surface. We explored for bleeding. We didn't find any bleeding. Just um, laparoscopically evacuated the hematoma. There was no further bleeding. Um, only two, two bile leaks required um, a percutaneous drainage. There have been five other bile stain drains which uh, settled really. Um, and there was um, no other major complications uh, with the robotic donor hepatectomies. And that is really the end of my talk and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you very much.